back in the count. The swing arm now coming back as our countdown continues. Good evening, everybody. You got a little peek behind the curtain there for that little <laughs> second. It's been a minute, and as folks know, I've been kind of, um, I don't know, double dutying or quadruple or quintuple dutying and doing a lot of AWOC stuff lately, so the setup's a little different. But on that tour, I got to have a little bit of a connect with this guy, Collector Express, whose streams I have seen in the past and sort of have just been just watching you customize. He does a thing on um, Sundays and, and oftentimes just sort of impromptu. Like I'll see it pop yep. up on my screen. Love your thumbnails, by the way. They're always like with, with the sort of green exacto knife mat. That's perfect, right? When right. I see that, I'm like, it's, yes. And it's my mat. So it's, yep. it's nothing full in front of it. It's like, it's like I show everything that's involved in with the customer. I think so my thumbnails involve that too. Yep, it's the workspace, which is perfect because it's a, that work in progress um, kind of vibe, which I love, which is perfect because today, as you all see, my guest today is Collector Express, and he is a very talented, very prolific customizer, um, and oh, that's going to be the focus of the show. Yeah, no, a, a factual, objective. <laughs> um, we're we're going to focus today on customs. I, I kind of like try to tailor things to the co-host but also like i've been trying to do like news and then customs and photos mm -hmm. and it's been a little bit because um we've been the shows have been packed and i was like oh i haven't really looked at a lot of customizers you should see i like i save up a, a list of links on my instagram and it's just filled with a bunch of customs that i've been meeting the show and just like never get to <laughs> so i'm excited about today um, with that said, let's do a little bit of the logistics. This is uh, the Brick Something Needless ephemeral we saw, a.k.a. the news, because it's not like really news, as you'll see in a little bit. It's kind of just me and a homie talking about all sorts of cool stuff on the Internet. Um, oh, there, You'll see over there by him, a little QR code that popped up. And right about, let's say mm, now, you'll see a no, banner. No. Get, get it right here. Right I know. Here. It's, al it's always like, which side? Over there. Um <laughs> Especially for those of you in the replay, um, you can go to that URL that's passing by right here, order that QR code, and it'll take you to a Google Doc where you can kind of just click along with us. During the live, I've got Thanos Copter in the chat. Thank you so much, Thanos, who's going to be dropping in the links as we go along. And so let's move. We've, uh, like I said, there's a ton of great, talented customizers that I want to look at. Oh, it, so it, the customizing community has grown so much. And yep. Uh, I love seeing it. It's just, and I get inspired by seeing other people's work too. And yep, that's, just, that's how it feels. It I'm assuming, right? Inspiration. Oh, absolutely. And, it's like I see someone. Oh, I never even thought about doing it that way. And it's like it's very uh -huh. clever. And I always try to give props too when I see somebody else do it and and give them credit for it because I don't I don't like trying to say oh this was my idea. And, oh yeah, yeah. And I love that about the community and and um, that's what this show is all about is like letting people know about all the cool stuff that's out there because hopefully it does for other people what it does for you is it inspires you, gives you new ideas. Exactly. Well, that's what got me into customizing the uh, action figures in the first place, uh, the old figure realm mm -hmm. uh, forums, and we go mm -hmm. people posting the customs there and people. I was like, that looks so cool. I want one of those, and so right. it inspires me to try to start making them myself. Yep. How do you and, do that? What's the recipe? What do you? Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. And it's one of the great things with figure realm too. When you post figures, you're supposed to put your recipes in as part of the description. Yep. Yep. And no, no it, secrets. It, no people, gatekeeping. Still around, no. but people don't post there as much. And uh huh. I, I still try to do every so often, and I love it. But all the it, engagement love it. on Instagram now, it's, so. It's fantastic. And the community is great. And just, you know, now that's what toys should be, whether you're playing with them, whether you're chopping them up and putting stuff on it to change it up and create new characters. Like it should be fun. It should be about community mm -hmm. on that. Oh, more the, that that's why I like to try to open this with like trying to get the to tutorials and ask, answer questions. When I got started. Oh, so many years ago, mm -hmm. people wouldn't share. Yeah. They're like, 
they they're like, oh, this. Mm -mm. I'm not going to tell you how to do that. Then you'll know how to do that. And you'll make customs and try to sell them or something other mentality. And I, like, and I will be a special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, will t uh, I will share any knowledge I have how to do anything for anybody that's trying to get into the hobby. That's awesome, man. That's dope. That's what it's about. And on that note, let's check in with the people who are here to kind of listen to mm -hmm. everything and hear about it. We've got Thanos Copter, as I mentioned. He's a... Uh, actively campaigning to get uh vitus and his tramp pacadine tramp stamp apparently gonna wants to sneak that on that animal warriors of the kingdom hippo let's go we gotta unleash that we've got rick jones how's it going yes this week went by and we so need a rick jones in marvel legends yeah 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 we do we do need a rick jones different versions i would love having do. do like a two-pack do a rick jones yep. and a bomb yep, yep. Yep, and you have multiple uh, do different head casts for Rick Jones for different eras, and let's do it. I love it. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, Dorlax, and what's going on, man? Um, we have Game Quest. Good to see you. Yes, it is time for the news. Star, always wonderful to see you. Um, hopefully, this stream continues on and doesn't get cut off, and we lose you. Um, that's not a commentary on Adam. I love you, Adam. He's having tech issues. Game Quest, what's going on? Hello, hello, hello. Um, Alice and Troy, yes, I guess. Gosh, are we getting to summer? Um, I can't wait till summer. Um, literally, action figures, thank you for joining us today. Akujinkos, Akujinskos. Sure. Akujinskos. He's one of my regulars on the channels. And How do you uh, pronounce it? Uh, <laughs> I usually abbreviate AK <laughs> or Akujinos. Or, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. We did find out don't abbreviate to the first first few letters because you two don't like that. <laughs> they, they, I'm, I'm uh, to go. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll, I'll tell you later on. It's like, okay, it, okay, it, cool, it, cool, it, cool. It took me like two months to get it fixed on my channel because they, they struck it as an offensive term. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, there you go. Dartherian, how's it going? Hey, yo, good to see you. Ray Paz, you're not late. You're just on time like a good wizard. Dynamo Dave, great to see you. Let's go ahead and... Oh, actually, I just want to highlight this because you're absolutely right. Marvel Legends is sleeping on the Rick Jones yeah. figures. You, you could either do like a Rick Jones and A-Bomb 2-pack or a Rick Jones in classic Guinness Veil. Uh-huh. Because uh, where he was bonded with the Guinness Veil and the Negabands and this might be a clue it's a is it is it japanese aku does that mean evil so if so hey and and we got some confirmation anyway welcome to the channel and thanks for um coming mm -hmm. through aku jinskos i hope that i'm not butchering that um yeah let's go ahead before we get into all the custom talk um let's go ahead and spend some time speaking of custom top here, here here's machu toy there's another one who likes to chop up his figures and try and make them better um, I love that goal. Let's go ahead and talk about the um, the sort of like true. Oops! Hey, look at that. He's so professional. Um, let's 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 do that. All right. <laughs> um, so let's talk about the sort of things that we saw. And there's like this is the quote unquote newsy section, and there isn't a whole lot. There's just two things that I want people to know about. One of them you heard me talk way too much about. One not so much. So let me just start with that. Um, West Coast, where I'm at, I'm out here in San Francisco Bay, like right around, I don't know, like right around this part. Uh, I'm sort of right here-ish. Hmm. Um, anyway. Uh, Run about water. On the West Coast, we don't get a whole lot of mythic opportunities for mythic legions, folks to come together at, say, like a convention. Um, the Four Horsemen mm -hmm. don't make it out this far because it's far for them and they ship all that stuff. But starting last May, um, Walter Hagen um, is of the Adam Power Channel, uh, organized this mythic meetup in uh, Sacramento at a toy shop called Toy Fusion. Um, great shop. Uh, they have sort of two spaces, one for kind of events and one for their main store. So on May 4th and May 5th, a couple of weeks away, um, I will be there to kind of hang out with folks last year, uh, I, I mentioned Walter Hagen was there, mm -hmm. um, is was there, Nate Barch was there, um, uh, Eric uh, LeBron, 
um, who's been on the Saturday Day Live channel with uh, or Saturday Day Live show with uh, Jonathan Hedgehog Action on their channel. Uh, Joe Gonzal Gonzalez, who I've been able to hang out a lot with, and like for some reason we didn't even get to see each other, but we were in the same room last May. So a lot of really talented people, a lot of cool people um, will be there. Please come through if you're in the area. If you're even just a little bit curious about Mythic Legions, you get to see these things in person. You get to see some cool folks doing custom work and see all the, you know, that's what we're talking about today. Um, just um, that's, a ton of that's what Mythics are just. Uh, legends are such great for customs and it's a good mm -hmm. customizing community. Yep. And yep. So just wanted to put that on which, the radar. And on that note, um, next Sunday, I'll be joined by Trevor Williams. Of, I don't uh, have a lot of mythic, but I love this oh, guy. Love the horseman. Yeah. He's fantastic. Um, so that's your main, that's your one uh, for horseman or one, uh, I guess. Mythic well, this Legends is the adjacent. only one I have right now. I have a couple on pre-order, but the uh, nice. This one had to be my first one because if anybody knows anything about me, I'm a big Ultraverse fan. Okay. And that's Lord Pumpkin's colors. <laughs> that's awesome. Once they did the purple with the green flames, I was like, and the pumpkin head, it's like, you're, I'm sold. Love it. So, yeah, there's that. Um, like I was saying, next Sunday, I'll have Trevor Williams here on the channel um, to kind of talk uh, legions and a bunch of the other things, toy photography. Then after that, I'll actually have um, Iz from the Adam Power Channel who's organizing this event. And then the weekend after that will actually be the Mythic Meetup. And I'll probably do a pre-record for that with Jonathan have Hedgehog action. So just want to put that on people's radar. If you're on the West Coast, please come hang out. After that, the only other thing is this whole Animal Warriors of the Kingdom thing. And well, I'm pretty what's sure. That? I'm not sure if I've heard of that before. Well, here, here's so instead of having to talk about it, what I'll tell you is if you go to uh, let's see, let me put it in the chat. It's bit.ly. Let me actually hide put that. So it'll be http colon colon bit.ly slash gather the tribe. It'll take you right to this playlist that has a playlist of myself, of Adam from Highly Articulated, Jason of Spiro going around and doing this Gather the Tribe tour, trying to get folks knowing about the current Animal Warriors of the Kingdom Kickstarter. And so we were everywhere, including over... Um, where are you, friend? Uh, you right are up. right there. Right the, there we Woo. go. So, oh, yeah, um, it's so great to get to talk to Jason, but, but he's turning out such amazing product right now agreed and trying it to really push, push the game right new ips mm -hmm. there's I, I i do love the nostalgia i can't i can't deny that but yeah but they're doing a little bit too much focus on nostalgia and not enough in like trying to create new ips that's why i love seeing these independent companies like jason coming out come out to this new he's doing the lore the figures he, he's doing it right. You know, people know you got to really have both to make it work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't Absolutely. have an emotional connection. You got to have uh, have a little bit of an emotional connection to the story and stuff to yep. really get people going. Yeah, and you guys were talking a lot about um, the lore to uh, one of the guys on your channel is, owns a is it like a comic book shop and a toy shop? Um, sort of filming yeah, it. Quinn, Quinn yeah. uh, has a comic shop. Uh, my, yeah. my friend. Uh, Matt, he he's just he's head over heels over the story and stuff. He loves Love it. it. Love it. So yeah, he's definitely got a lore um, and has built a world that I think people can. Uh, mm -hmm. If you if you get into it, you can definitely build a, an emotional attachment to it. And it's it's I, we've talked about it as sort of being this fun, like it's brand new IP, but it definitely has touchstones of some of the things that we grew up with and love. It oh, really yeah. captures that Saturday morning adventure really well. It, it, it was, it's such a Toyota, Toyotic line and yep. would make for great like like uh, I mean Saturday morning cartoons. Like you, you can it feels it, it feels like it's been around for longer than it has. Mm -hmm. It's it, it's done so well. Yep. And so on here you will see um, in this playlist, which definitely will last longer than the time left in the Kickstarter, which is by the way two full days. Um, so back now, please. Um, we we'll started mm -hmm. off with this little thing that um, I put together We're for twenty eight hundred, uh, twenty three hundred dollars, just shy twenty three hundred dollars of unlocking the first avian. Yep, that's right. We got to get our birds. We got to uncage the birds, um, and then get through to those pachyderms. But um, 
this it'll start off here in the the for like a four minute little quick introduction to the lore of a pivotal scene in issue number one that really breaks down what kind of world you're in. It's not necessarily just a sword and sorcery thing, and I don't mean just because that's beautiful, but it definitely mm -hmm. is like this this amazing AI laden DNA crossing mm -hmm. world on a brand new planet. So it's, um, or it's sword and sorcery and technology together. It kind of it puts you like talking about like the old nostalgia type, type mm -hmm. feel to it. Like Thundar the Barbarian was exactly. both sword and sorcery and, yep. and technology and masters of the universe. Yep. A little bit of flash Gordon. Right. So the, again, these things are not new. Yep. <laughs> these things are not new, but the DNA is there. And so, yeah, we've been all the way around and it's not stopping after this. Um, we're going to split up. Uh, some of us are going to be on Geek Dad Live. Some of us are going to be over on the Hella Dope channel. And then we're winding down because we've got two more days. That said, I want to just move past that, remind people that the Kickstarter is here. So things are moving. But um, yeah, that's all great. Um, thunder. Thunder. And yes, Thunder Kirby Magic. I love it. Um, so what's going on, Chris? Great to see you. No sleep till Mamba and then stay up a little longer for Vitus and Zwar. Um, that, that's where we're at now. So yes, this is great. It's all wonderful. It's all good. But you know, you don't come to the Brick Something channel to talk about animal <laughs> warriors of the kingdom. Uh, yeah, you, you do. You do often. But um, today, <laughs> we're actually going to talk about um, some customs. And I want to start off with a custom. I'm moving things up a little bit. Instead of like waiting till the very end to talk about um, That's What's Up and talk about my guests um, work, I want to start there. So if you don't mind, let's take a look at, at what's going on with you, sir. Um, so your Instagram is 1987olds442, and that's a fun number. <laughs> it, it's a legacy to like my old uh, forum days, and that's gotcha. the username I'd always use. And okay. so people were, when I got back into customizing, it's like, well, that's what I was known as. Gotcha. So that's why I took a, a long hiatus for a while. And with a lot of people, it's like, eh, it got shut in for a while. It's like, hey. Yeah. Let's get back into doing stuff again. So can you break that down? Let's start there while I just kind of scroll through this and we'll take a look at some specific ones. But like, let, yeah, what's your customizing history and, and how did you get um, into that? I've been basically customizing for many, many decades, but mm. I didn't really get into action figures until like, of course, or the beginning, like around a few years after Marvel Legends started. Mm. I was always big into customizing Transformers and... Uh, uh, which I was pretty known, fairly well known in the Transformers customizing community for a long time. And I started like getting into the action figures, which I'd post on like the Foosh forums back in the day when they mm -hmm. had more of a focus on customizing back then, which I miss the one they, they don't, don't really seem to have the push of customizing stuff. When the forums went down, what was it last year? When they rebuilt it, they didn't even put the mm -hmm. custom types, uh, section oh, back up. They just just let it sort of disappear, huh? Yeah. Uh, I think Robo was the big push for like customizing stuff. When now mm -hmm. he's not there not anymore. There. So, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about here with your thumbnails, man. It's like okay, it's such great branding too, and it's perfect for for what you do. So yeah. so it's been a couple of years, and but you said that um you. You mentioned kind of that that lockdown era. So was that like a resurgence kind of a thing? Yeah, I've, I got into it and got re reconnecting with some old uh, friends with customizing stuff too. And then we, mm -hmm. uh, my friend Hulk Smash Customs, he's kind of want to encourage me like start uh, do the YouTube stuff. And and I was like, oh, let's focus on customizing and and helping like doing tutorials, showing people how to do stuff. And that's awesome. Uh, it's got to be great to build a community and make getting to talk to people that's like-minded, same hobbies, and mm -hmm. and made a lot of new friends with, like, uh, friends that do, like, the custom soft goods, the 3D modeling, 3D printing, and I've gotten someone into it, too. Last week, I bought a 3D printer. I saw <laughs> that. I saw that on your IG. That, it, that's a big my, game changer for you now, huh? Yep. And now I only have to bother my friend Kanan half as much. <laughs> just to model the stuff and he can just send me the files and I'm right here. <laughs> and how's it going so far with that? Have you, you been able to successfully pull off some prints and Oh it, yeah. That's, I, yeah. I'm working on an armored version of Bruton. 
Yep. And your, I got your one of your own create uh, characters, yep. which is awesome that you kind of create your own armored shoulder pauldrons oh. all printed up to fit him. Let me see that again. Oh yeah, 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 cool. And once I'm going to do all the armor stuff and like for him, and I'm actually going to send the body off to my friend Don, who does custom soft goods, and I'll have him do like a full body suit for it. Oh, okay. I didn't realize he and had we, like a full on costume on top of that. Well, uh, a young. This is going to be like the younger version. That, uh, oh, I've been I see. Basically, working on a, writing a story. Yep. And this will be like the younger version when he's on uh, on do is the weapons officer on the 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 Herogen ship. Wonderful. So yeah, that's the other thing. Be exposed, but the for the body he'll be working is wearing an outfit similar to Lore. Uh huh. Because that's Lore's outfit is actually a uniform, so. So for those of you who uh, didn't realize, so in addition to as you're seeing some of these like pop cultural hits, right? I've seen uh, everything from like a One Punch Man to a couple of like there's the Hulk in here. Um, mm -hmm. You got some, you've got mostly a lot of Marvel. You've got some Masters of the Universe. There's like a Roboto, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. But you also create your own this thing that you've been working on. You're saying you've had the story for about thirty years. That well, I've, kind I've of designed the, the characters a long, yeah. long time ago, and. Mm -hmm. Uh, never really sat down to build the lore for the uh, like story for the characters. Yep. And last year I start I sat down and start writing, and mm -hmm. um, I'm up to like 83 pages, <laughs> and, and then another hundred pages of of character bio sheets, and and just trying to break down to basically build like build it like a story bible. Yep. You're building your own little world. Have your character bible or your story bible. That's that's awesome. And um. So let's let's it's a, maybe it's a play on words too. If the with the main character is lore. Oh yeah, you and, didn't name the. Mm -hmm. And I have the, the name of like the story will be like the warriors of lore, which mm -hmm. and it's, it takes place in multiple different time periods on Earth, and so you can have different side side stories at different time periods, and that's, some uh, characters it. arrived in like the Middle Ages, and, and I love it. Love the yeah. massive imagination of creating this world and like populating mm -hmm. it with that. And we'll see. I think um, I pulled out a couple to take a look at, but I figured this is a nice little um, transition oh. from the AWOC because I'll you, you picked yeah. up on what I think a lot it's of people so, have seen. It's so nice when I say things. I was basically just this was just an enhancing of the figure. It's just yeah. like yep. or highlighting highlighting the figure. Yep. Putting the washes, bringing like the shading, and doing some dry brushing on the fur. Uh, it's a little harder to tell my lighting in this, but I did like a gray uh, dry brushing all over the fur. Yep. So when in person, you, you can really see the the like I got them back here with, behind me right now next to Bruton. The, and it's just beautiful sculpts and just that just a little bit is just just does so much. Yeah, uh, a buddy of mine uh, did a. Um, oh my gosh, I'm messing up his name. Uh, ooh, it's the the pirate, the first pirate that they released. Uh, this guy, oh my god, what is his name? Um, fake fan, but yeah, this guy. Uh, I got I got a version that has a similar kind of like techniques, dry brushing techniques, and you can see it, man. This really brings thing to life. The weathering yep. that you did on that armor. So I good. Did, I did the dry brushing. Uh, I mean, the the washes. Then I dry brushed a little bit of silver on there to make it look worn. And just look at the the strap here looks amazing. I, I washed and dry brushed a, a, a burnt sienna over top of that. That looks like it looks like leather. Um, oh, so good. Check that out. Great work. But yeah, you know, whatever. A walk. Um, here's your. <laughs> From the Warriors of Lore, from the story that you're building up, um, this is your character. When was this? Is um, oh Bruton, right? Sorry, I was thinking of yep. Brutox. I've got again a walk on the brain. Bruton. How long have you had Bruton as a character? Was this one from like 30 years ago? Yes. Nice. And I was able to get bring it to life just because of my the great contacts and friends I've made through the custom uh, custom community. My friend Cannon. He modeled that head and just did an amazing job on it. I absolutely uh -huh. love it. And the the stern expression on the face and just works so well. And it just it was like kismet like with the whole type thing too, with the bringing it together. My buddy in uh, in Scotland actually sent me the legs for this thing. He made a custom Maestro Hulk, and I oh. had 
I made, I uh, painted up a smart Hulk head for him, sent it to him and, and, uh, uh, a couple things. And he sent me some extra kit bashing, uh, leftovers when he made some customs. I sent those legs and it's like, huh, I have, I wonder if I can make this work with the, the, uh, Ursa major torso. Yep. So I ended up cutting the torso. This is an untouched torso. I cut it straight across through here. And I was able to splice onto uh, marry up the legs. Oh man, looks so good. The uh, oh, I'll grab the other one. You can see how much bigger he is with those lower lower body. I see. Uh huh. So it's he's like a about an inch and a half taller from now. Uh, let's see, if I get it here. But yeah, the that is awesome. The 80th anniversary Hulk style lower legs. Mm -hmm. I, I put the fur texture on the legs. These and are the rhino feet that I've sculpted the fur onto. I was going to ask. Yes. Yeah, so, so those are the Marvel Legends rhino, the Spider Man character that you've yep. added fur. Did you cut into or are you adding on top of to build up fur? Or? I actually have made texture stamps. And ah, I took, okay. I used what they call blue stuff. It's like a, a, a thermal a plastic silicone. Uh -huh. And you can actually make uh, textures. I learned uh -huh. that from watching uh, Ma uh, Customs by Machu. Yeah, yeah. And he was using that same technique. West Coast Machu. Uh, and uh, I was able to make fur textures from the existing fur, so it all matches. That looks so good. The arms are, the forearms are spliced together from a Sasquatch. So I have, the top part is the arms from the Ursa Major. And I hollowed out the top of the, Sasquatch arms, blend uh -huh. them together, so I can get the big furry arms. And that's awesome. Want. But it just came to up so beautifully, and I'm, I'm actually working on a new belt buckle design. Uh, that's like from like thirty some oh, years I ago. See. Yeah, and yeah. I got we got a really nice intricate with filigree and like a, a elephant's uh, like head. That'll that be printed, it or in. it's going to be three D printed. I sent to. Uh, Canon the the artwork so you can use it as a bump mm -hmm. map, and you can you'll probably fix it up here one this week. Yeah, man, people are loving it. Um, Dartherian saying these look fantastic. What's up, Pains? Good to see you. Um, and mm -hmm. you know, just in general, I agree with Dorlax and the future. Of most things is, lies in the independence, independence, video games, toys, comics, movies. Absolutely, like it just pushes things forward, and then you know that's kind of the the trend. There's always sort of the the innovators that push things, and then sometimes things settle in as things grow or get bought up or whatever. But but we'll see if we learned our lessons. Thanos wanted to shout out your Space Ghost. Um, oh, custom that was, as a fun I was one. I'm, I'm going to be working on a second one for a friend of mine, uh, a friend Quinn that was on from on the show with J uh, uh -huh. Jason. Yep, yep. He's saying that's like, can you, can you do that for me? <laughs> I was like, of course, Quinn. I'm sure people are like, can I get one too? And then here's um, the Cersei, uh, which is great. Yeah, you, you, I appreciate yep. your character choices too. You really kind of go in and um, you, you pick things that I, I just don't see enough of. And then um, mm -hmm. uh, Akujin Skos is asking, uh, when will you make a Hulk custom? <laughs> he, he's kidding. Uh, it's it's kind okay. of a joke. Because yeah. uh, I make a lot of Hulks. Because you make a lot of Hulks. I was going to say, like, mm, I feel like I've seen quite a few. Um, um, real quick, so we we skipped it, or we just kind of passed over. But this is, and I think I've got other shots of him. This is the main character of your your yep. world that you're building, which is lore. That's right? actually a two point I'm working on an uh, upgraded the version, of, version it. of it. This was my first one. Okay. And yep. Yep. I I was discussing things with uh, Canon last night. We were coming up with a really cool ideal. Uh, this uh, where the fuller fuller's at on the sword. Uh huh. Hollow it out and make it like a window and insert and do a, a hole through the center of the sword and put an acrylic rod in it, and so oh. we can have a LED light and make it see. Nice, nice. Oh, so the LED rod will it'll light all the way through that yep. that little rod. Oh, cool. Very cool. Uh, we, when we, when we were originally, I was just thinking about hollowing it out, put a metal rod in it, so. It, Make sure you don't don't warp or anything. Uh -huh. He said, "You know, they make clear rods. We could. Have you thought about lighting it up?" It's like <laughs> I have now. <laughs> that's all I want to think about now. That that's a great thing, man. You're building your own. Like, yes, you've got the the you've got the nostalgic stuff that you love. Then you're like creating mm -hmm. customs of characters you you can't get, or maybe you want yeah. to improve on the ones that Hasbro's done or whoever else. 
And then you're like, all right, well, I want to make my own characters. And you get to just, yeah, play around with them. Um, and those little all, innovations. For my people know, I've been, I've been working on too. I've been, since he sent, I got the printer now, I've been mm -hmm. adjusting, tweaking like sizes and scaling stuff too. Like I got the shoulder pauldrons bigger on the, the new one, uh, new one. I got those printed out and already fixed up. But on that one, I'm actually using magnets for the shoulder pauldrons. We're going to actually okay. take them off. And so you're, uh, you're going to put the magnets on the inside of the shoulders. Yep. Or they're I'm in, they're inside the top, uh, the, the shoulder. Mm -hmm. uh, sculpt the over top of it, bring them up. So when you take them off, you don't it looks like it's just bare arm. Where's the soft goods from? It looks really good. That's from my friend uh, 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 Don, uh, okay. Commandon on Instagram. Uh, you Don saw, I saw your Don right there uh, in the uh, description. Cool. He does amazing soft goods. Follow. Cool. <laughs> yeah, man, they look great. And, uh, uh, I, I've got. Oh, if you go back to his right quick, it was a uh -huh. little highlight of something he did. The Maestro suit. Uh, Love right that. The, 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 yeah. Oh no! Yeah, the pants. Those are custom soft good pants. Oh, man, look at the fit. And on those he's things. got like he made faux boots, like where they slide up, like leather oh, boots. Okay. Those are uh, the Ko Juggernaut feet, and he did like the the leather, like These the fake here. leather boots. Uh huh. And it's just. I gotta aggravate them to make me one of those. That's yeah, man, those are great. Buddy Hulk smash. Those are great. And um, he does just such incredible work. And I dropped that link in, uh, to him too in the uh, uh, chat because we've got a lot to look at, friends. So let's definitely look at this. And uh, I am curious, um, how does this thing connect? Is it just sort of like um, um, it's a fitness, magnet on the wire? front? Okay. Oh, on the cape. Okay, I got cape. magnets in the. Uh, traps nice uh put magnets in there and then traps it's just uh loosely fit right right now sure. it's going to be sure i'm actually work, uh working on a, a collarbone piece it's going to go through here okay. that lay uh -huh. that may end up attaching to the capes it's a a tech looking detail that's cool man it's it's great stuff there's that's where that that rod will be he's a great looking character i dig it like yeah i want to I want to know about that world. Um, you've built yourself a, a Thor Buster Iron Man that I think is really cool for for your uh, for Sawyer Don. Um, he, he's he's done so much for me, like for like, doing these custom soft goods for me all the time. And it's like he asked me if I would do that for him. It's like absolutely. And it's been a fun project. You know, taking the destroyer, and I, I didn't yep. realize how much work I was picking myself too. It's like when I was cutting off all those spikes on the arms and legs uh. and. <laughs> And because you got to sand all that fact smooth, and but it, it turned out really good. Yeah, you don't really see where those spikes were. And I changed out the shoulders too. Those are not the destroyer shoulders. Those are Crimson Dynamo shoulders. Mm -hmm. They give mm -hmm. them like bigger, bulkier shoulders because the destroyer has those shoulder pads. It has those little tiny shoulders. Mm -hmm. If you kept those, and, yep, which is fine on the destroyer because it's covering them. But yeah, if you, you had to those off and they're exposed, and you got little tiny shoulders. Small. Yeah, look at all these little spikes that you had to cut out and sand down, mm. and they're clean. You don't see them at all. Uh, re sculpted the torso, the ab section. Whew. And it's re sculpted the, the face and the hips areas. Man, this stuff is solid. Obi Wan Chingones says these look great. Thanks for sharing. Was already following you and looking forward to seeing more. Yeah, it's a great follow. All sorts of cool stuff. And then if you're ever, again, interested in just knowing how he goes about it, check him out on Sundays and a bunch of other impromptu times on his YouTube yep. channel. Right you after this, we're deal. having another uh, Whip It, uh, whip it yep. Sunday. You see the real deal of him just building. What's up, Travis? Good to see you. Let's take a look at some cool customs. All right, let's see. Um, I just love that you, you, you'll you take an existing figure and chrome it up, which is perfect uh, for and Jocasta. One, once I found out how to do that chroming process, um, cosplayers have been doing that for years. They use that graphite, oh, graphite powder, uh -huh. and it makes stuff look like it's metal. Yeah. You don't even have to seal the stuff. It's like you... you it rubs, it stays on so well. If you handle a lot, it will tarnish a little bit, but all you have uh, to do is just grab a Q-tip, dip it in that powder, and just polish it back right back out. Interesting. But yeah, it's very durable for, to have no sealer. 
and it seems to apply pretty thin too. It doesn't look like it's caking on the the mm -hmm. material very much. Nope. Um, the best the best way to do it though, you will have to do like a clear coat over top of what you're going to uh, to get the more mirror finish. Okay. Uh -huh. You uh, put a clear coat on it, and it, it adheres to the polish. It'll adhere to the uh, the clear coat. Okay. You don't have to do that. It will uh -huh. make st other uh, make stuff shiny, silver uh, silver stuff shiny, but not as shiny if you clear coat it first. Sure. She looks fantastic. Let's uh, go. Allison toys uh, graphite powder is like definitely if you ever get some, wear a mask. It's very fine, uh -huh. and wear gloves. Uh -huh. Yep. The first time I did it, I didn't. And not to be gross, but as soon as I blew my nose, it's like it was in my oh, nose. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, mask for it from, from now on. I reuse it. <laughs> yep, that's going in your nose, and um, can you imagine what your lungs look like? No, uh, yeah, you get black lung customizing. <laughs> um, so I, I've had that experience when I've in in the Philippines. You're hanging out, you're not wearing a mask, you're just kind of out. And then at the end of the day, you blow your nose, and there's a lot of soot. Speaking of the Philippines, uh, somebody from uh, my homeland, uh, Aki Santiago, um, or uh, Aki Customs 15, was and one of the ones his that... Hair, the, yes. His figures on the hair is just amazing. Hairography for days. Beautiful female customs. Yep. Absolutely. Um, black lung customizing coming soon to YouTube this <laughs> fall. Yeah, no, if you just take a look as I scroll down, man, the hair is... The hair game is on point and i pulled out a couple oh, but I, I do want to just sort of scroll through you so you can see not even real hair you can do snake hair really well too or he can do snake hair really well it's as, just absolutely amazing it's like what he can do with it he's yeah. amazing i love uh, this dark witch it yeah. reminds me of like one, uh, one of my villain characters yeah, uh, here yep lilith uh, lilith is so good um and so, yeah, just just sort of seeing how how people uh, can. Mm -hmm. Was looking at what he did here is like getting me ideals for like when I do eventually make a cousin uh, a custom of my Morgana, and she's got a very similar gown type feature with the, the soft goods. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's just like I said, I like to see what other people's doing, just get inspired and see how what to do, and then figure out how to do things too. Absolutely. What's going on, Andrew? Good to see you. Uh, yep. This thing is amazing. I love all the little details and just mm -hmm. looks incredibly clean. Um, love the the color treatment on those wings too. Just really that that's a nice fade. Um, so I, I get I, I get just amazed when I see some of these uh, people's paintwork on their faces and like mm -hmm. uh, uh, another fr friend that's a I'll, I'll look at the lot he's overseas in Nico. Yep, and then we'll get to him. Does, when he paints the eyes, you can see like the different colors is colors in just in the whites of the eyes. Yep, it's, it's in the pink and the tear uh, ducts. It just blows me away. It's like I got giant meat hooks, so it's kind of hard. No, I, I'm amazed by his eyes. Too, so. <laughs> you, you, like we're seeing the same things. Like yeah, hair. This guy and everything he does is great. Like aside, but but specifically Nico and his those eye. How he gets the, the details in the eyes. It's, don't even know how how yeah. it's done. Just a, some other quick ones. Beautiful Starfire, um, that is man. So beautifully done, and that flowing of the hair. His hair just blows me away. Yep. Look at the way that that ombre too, from the red to the orange, so cool, and the just the finish on that. Work. Um, Storm, man. Oh. You can see there in the eyes too. That's 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 some solid stuff going on there too, but. She looks mm -hmm. amazing. Like oh, you this can is... see the pinks and the whites of the eyes from like the blood vessels. It's just yep. crazy detailed. Really getting in there. It's it's wild. And I love everything done with it. The costume. This is, you know, definitely from that old um, I was gonna say classic X-Men, which were sort of the reprints, but a giant size X-Men. Um when and when the fine kind of detail of the lashes too is just wow. On the what? The eyelashes, the fine detail. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, they're it, being brush painted, guys. It's, it's not. Yeah, it's not digital face print. It's like uh, he's painting that stuff in with my yeah. hand. And then on top of that, doing the makeup too, right? Like looking everything mm -hmm. at the the eyeliner, the the lipstick. There's some lip liner up in there too. I'm sure the the cheeks look amazing. The blush, fantastic stuff, man. I love it. Um, 
And yes, absolutely, this storm. And let's see. Oh, oh, tsh. we're so talking about you, hair again. Not doesn't even have yeah. to be real hair. It could be snake hair. Um, he's been doing a couple of different takes on this Medusa character, so I just chose a couple to look at. But yeah. again, look at the face. Just definitely like paid close attention to that. I we're love the blend. Like a, uh, pupils. Mm -hmm. So good. Individual, individual strokes in the eyebrows. Do you know? I didn't even think about this. What's the the base figure? Is this a, a Marvel Legends figure body? Yes, uh, uh -huh. very resculpted torso, and but definitely got some Marvel Legends uh, uh, parts on there. Uh -huh. And then here's the other one. Just again, I was just intrigued by what's going on with the uh, the details on the eyes and just everything. So uh, that is amazing. Very cool. Yeah, man, it's great. And I, I love that you, um, yeah, scales are definitely sexy. <laughs> I love that you and the community, you're all like, you know, you're like, hey, I want to look at this. I want to look at this. It's all about like just checking out other people's stuff. Do you, um, yeah, I assume you get like inspiration and techniques from all these people too. Oh, right? absolutely. 100%. Yeah. Like, uh, when I was looking at his, uh, his Lilith, I was like getting inspiration, like how to do. Uh, I'll make a, another one of my original characters, so, uh, Morgana. She's got yep. a very similar like gown type fe feature. Uh -huh. And it's like, oh, you use soft goods in this kind of like, I, I, I need to check. I, I love to inquire with him too. Like, looks like he treated it somehow to get the form fit. And I was like, yeah, oh, it's pretty there. amazing. So um, I kind of hit all that because this is my way of, of, clearing the screen because man there's a lot to look at and i'm opening them up as we go through and i couldn't keep them all open but um can you talk a little bit about your the work in progress because you often bring people on to work with you on those streams oh, too. yes uh, the work in progress streams started out just basically me and my buddy hulksman is just sitting there chit chatting and then mm -hmm. and the longer we did it the more along like guys guys coming in chiming in it's like I would just throw the link out like for the streams that uh, come out, people come hang out and which, which worked out amazingly. Well, like we're building a community. We got guys doing uh, the just old school, traditional customizing like I do. And then you got the, the 3d modelers that Canon does this custom soft goods of Harker customs in Don Sawyer. Yeah. Uh, this amazing, just great stuff uh, from everybody. I've got people do like uh, my friends up in Canada, like a uh, uh, Jer who does custom three D printing for like Transformers, makes custom Transformers. He just recently did a metro, a big two foot tall Metroplex, and he just did the Autobot Spike. Just this, I love just being able to be able to invite all these guys, great guys on. Is give them a forum. Yep, uh, we do. We haven't done one in a while because uh, my friend Hulk Smash that has uh, been going through. Uh, health stuff and mm -hmm. we do like these customizer spotlights and, mm -hmm. and bring in customizers and talk about their work too and kind of like what you're doing with me right now <laughs> yeah dude exactly oh man uh, but, wait, 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 wait a minute. you did a uno reverse one me <laughs> uno reverse solo center man thank you so much this is amazing uh yeah i don't even know what to tell you but just want to show you some love and support been watching all you've been doing lately glad i caught you on your channel and yes, that storm, that storm is gorgeous. The favorite, absolutely. Man, thank you so much, Solo Center. Appreciate you so much. Um, and Brian Brink, who uh, who you probably know, handles all the charts and stuff that you've seen, and you probably know him from his podcast, but uh, just realize he's been subbed to your channel, but always uh, has a conflict with your stream, but loves to scream, skim through on the replays. Absolutely. No, that's the replays. Those, the the whippets are great too. There's a good source of not even if you're not catching them live, yep, yep. or if people are asking questions, we're showing techniques. So yep. yeah, definitely. It's yeah, they're great. They're great. It's for for me. Like I've been lurking a long time just because I want to get into it. I don't quite have the workspace. There's always sort of excuses, but I just love learning, <laughs> seeing the techniques. And like you said, you're working there. Somebody else is on a computer screen, so you can kind of see them modeling. It's it's really cool stuff. If you just you get right now, we're, uh, we've there. got them. Just a great bunch of guys that's coming, mm -hmm. joined in on on the on the streams on a regular basis. You're getting to see all these different techniques, and and we're all willing to just 
answer questions and yep no uh, one's no one's that's been like my friend there yeah. up in canada about doing three miles then you got the amazing uh the uh, the work for you, this guy's doing is just he's doing this stuff for free for people yeah this guy right here to uh sorry reza aulia toy maker yep. 3d toy on maker instagram 3D. Do this stuff is just he'll he'll model it and like you said just put it out for the community to download and do what you need. He to does do have it. some uh, Patreon uh, uh, paid yeah. tier stuff. It's a little more advanced, but mm -hmm. most of this stuff is you can go to his website and download these models for free and print them. And I've shared some of his stuff here before, but just you know the quick go through. You should check it out. But um, yeah, he he hits on some of the things that were just like I loved as a child. So this is Tetsujin twenty eight. Um, this was one of the the earliest sort of giant robots that I remember seeing coming out of Japan. Um, there was a um, not Soul of Chogokin, but before then, oh my gosh, was it Godaikin? They did like the big robots, and there was one mm -hmm. of this guy. Um, but this is definitely truer to the manga so you got like those just the, the cool oh look at you with your rating yeah so yeah this guy when i was watching your awok stream i just kept i was like yeah i'm listening to the awok talk but i'm looking right behind you to the left looking at that shogun <laughs> rating <laughs> from my childhood my brother's five years older than me so when i was born into a family that had yep. those must have been yep, that was my brother's when came out? little bit. yeah do you remember when those came out uh what's this is that's okay version I one just, yeah oh I, I don't have the sticker on here um huh. this, was, this was like on the first release so it had a okay. sticker instead of printed date I, I actually did a rest restoration on this one this was with my brothers uh mm -hmm. i think this one's from 1977. 77 okay so i would have been one when this line came out and my brother somehow finagled the family to get himself so i grew up with that thing and like back when you know Toys would give you a black eye. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're, they're hollow. But so, yes, you they could, though, if you swung it right. No, um, uh, but, it, uh, this has got a flying fist that will go across true. the room. It does have the flying fist. Um, but this is cool, man. This is all 3D um, modeled, and it's articulated, which blows me away. Oh, um, and with being 3D models, too, depending on the size of your printer, you can print this any size you want yeah oh yeah that's true look at that voltus 5 damn uh anyway this stuff is super cool um this, continuing on with the shogun warriors what we know shogun warriors here in the united states um guy king uh we uh did we have yeah we had a guy king didn't look mm -hmm. nearly as cool as this um oh, no. <laughs> you, know, you, you just, had two points of articulation on the, yep, all the shoguns <laughs> yep it was up and down no oh, lawn darts oh man i was in a little tiny toy museum where they had like the band toys it was that some radioactive kit anyway um guy yeah, king man this thing they, is they actually sold radioactive kits they did i know it's just insane uh, uh metal forging kits too like uh, like yep. where you, you know, like casting kits you melt up pewter and make molds <laughs> yep great for kid play um yeah this thing is great again it's all 3d printed and he and and uh toy maker makes it like available to folks uh, i've actually shared some things of his that ha that other people have printed out and we'll get to to um hans in a little bit but this mm -hmm. guy was fun right um this was what was his name again daltan daltanius um i had a cousin who had this the godaikin version of this but apparently I learned from Toy Galaxy, now Secret Galaxy, that when they were um, when the folks from here in the States were out looking for properties to buy to um, turn the cartoons here and localize, when they went out for Voltron, they were told to get like the lion robot. And actually the intention was to get Daltania's, but they came back with the rights to Goleon, the Voltron that we now know, not realizing like whatever, lion robot. Anyway um without spending too much time just because we've got a lot to go through i just wanted to just give people like a quick glimpse autobots roll out um you've seen some of this uh with a customizer customizer that i'll show in a little bit mm -hmm. but as you were he's pointing been, out yep. these can be printed up to whatever size right mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh and we'll see very a little bit. Fit figures too and yeah and it's 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 really cool and this really is going to be the future 
of of toy making someday we'll get to a place yeah. where people will essentially be in mass um, well, if you, you know uh, printing like their for toys. here the modern 3d printers have you can, the this is the pla uh the P pla printer which has got multiple color sp spools yep you can print it at one time and yep and it comes out multiple colors and there's a quintesson for again for more of you transformers fans um, this is, uh, oh God, I, I love this design of Jet Jaguar. This is from the Netflix, uh, Godzilla singular point. A lot of people, I know a lot of like hardcore Godzilla fans aren't too into it, but I love the redesign of, um, of Jet Jaguar, just a cool, quirky looking spindly guy with a giant, um, weapon made out of a, uh, Kaiju body part. Cool stuff. Uh, there's a take here on a Mecha King Kong that I just quickly go through, and then we should probably move on. Look at that. Whew. I love his Mecha. Um, yeah. Mecha. Do, do you know what this is? I didn't know what Iron Shell was, but I just I think it's really cool. It, it's uh, uh, we were talking about before. I can't remember now. It's another kaiju where the fly, the turtle one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, is it Gamera? Gamera. That's it. Oh, so this is the, this is like a, this a, is a mecha, mecha version. Gamble. Got yeah. it. That's cool. Love it. And then just a quick video to give you a sense of um, what what we're talking about when we're talking about three D printed toys. So this is um, him printing up um, the. Uh, is, I think this is the 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 Godzilla the mecha Godzilla. Yeah, and so you can kind of see it there, just printing out the different parts and. I really like we're going to get to this place, right? It'll probably start off with, you know, the hardcore like modeler type people, the DIY mm -hmm. people. Eventually, it'll get to a place where people will figure out easy, quicker systems that to put things just, together. Look at that. So the awesome. It moves like, oh, man. So is this one that's free? A uh, free as a print? I think it's one of the more deluxe ones you have okay. to pay for. Which it's well worth it. It's like the much work with stuff he does for uh, the, the quality of his models. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing. That's right. Two go. Two guys saw it. It was a Mecha Gamera. I didn't realize that it was Gamera. Love it. Yep. See you all are faster than me. I think the Gamera is like a, one of those newer ones too. That's awesome. Um, when you say would these work with my super seven transformers, the ones you were talking about earlier, again, you could print them on, at any size you want. Yep. Um, so it could, but you know, why stop there? Why not be like one out customs Hans and just take those prints from toy maker or take those models from um, toy maker 3d and you'll see here, print them up huge. So this is him trying to do a Devastator and all the different Transformers to kind of scale. Yeah, not he's quite scaled, his he's scaled 125 percent. Yeah, I guess they're they're. I don't know how true one twelve they are, but we'll see. There's a couple of pieces um, where he actually has like here. I'll show you so you can kind of see there. There's a Duke. There you go, Snake Eyes and Duke. I, I just see a black box. It's What's not that? showing the video for me. Oh, shoot. That's right. I don't see it here. You know what? It's probably a memory thing. Well, that sucks. Um, see, folks, this is what... Uh, how about this one earlier? Did did we see the video of the 3D printing? Yes, we uh, saw the, uh, oh, that okay. one. It might just be um, um, a memory thing. Yeah, so it starts off and then it kicks out because I've just probably overdoing it. Here, let me see what I can close out and capture some memory back. If not, then... Then yeah, we'll get back to it. Videos. Yeah, the video is tough. Um, oh, there it goes. He's playing that one. Yeah, so here's – we'll move on. Uh, but you get the idea. Uh, you can print those things up pretty big, and I'll probably circle back to some of the stills. I just appreciated him doing, again, some of these um, quirky uh, Marvel stuff that folks maybe not aren't familiar with. So this is uh, – people know, I think, now Spider-Punk, but uh, Spider-Punk formed a band. And I just I love the designs of these, and I love the recreation of them as as Marvel Legends figures. So, One Oak Customs is just does such phenomenal custom work. Yep, it's just top clean. Nine. He's one of his top tier, one of the top tier ones to me. S tier for sure. Look at that, and hitting the poses too. Like he he yep. he studies he studies these things, and is like, okay, no, 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 no I, I get it. it. That's one thing I, I stink at is photography, and and he's just got these great photos of all his custom stuff. And yep, good lighting. 
a nice uh, area to take pictures. Yeah, his work, that... his work studio looks huge too from those videos. Yeah, yeah, and that that's got to help. Um, you can see here the work in progress. I'm just gonna cycle through these. This is the Daredevil um, in this sort of else world in this um, part of the Spider Verse, if you will, or the multiverse. Um, and you know, of course, they form a band. This is Iron Riot. Oh, look at that man, I love it. And the Hulk, but of course, um, with the I love the the detail of the uh ear pods, I wonder how big yeah. those are. Uh, that's a deluxe version, so cool stuff. Um, clearly, like taking uh, really studying the source material and just trying to turn it into plastic using all sorts of materials, right? They're stitching on this soft goods uh, strap for the um. The guitar strap, you got that. Soft I love the here. mixed media the one people work that in. Uh, so many people were so negative about soft goods on uh, 112 skill for so long. I don't understand why. It's like it takes it to the next level. It's I'm with you, man. And 100%. once you go to a wired cape, you don't want a plastic shell cape no more. And here's the the superior four. Um, yeah. I don't, I'm actually not even familiar with these. And so I'm assuming it's like, you know, Doc Ock and Alter, alternate re and uh, versions yeah. of Doc Ock. And so that's kind of cool. Um, did, did a quick, uh, feature this, foundation. Well, I don't understand why Hasbro don't do that. They do. They've done every type of version of the fantastic four, except for like one of my favorites, the future foundation, the future foundation. Yeah. It's one of those things that like. I think Marvel Legends in general just has a hard time um, figuring out what to make because the Marvel Universe is so big and there's different fans from, oops, there go the video again. Yep. There's like, uh, people have different uh, entry points, right? So some to some people, that, they'll see this and I'm like, damn, that's cool. And then other people will be like, wait, I have no connection to that. I don't remember that. Oh, one of the things that it. has been around forever and they're a staple like villain group uh, they have never touched is the UFOs. The UFOs. They're, they're like evil that. versions of Fantastic Four. Oh, um, okay. Uh, their leader, uh, Vector, can repulse matter. He's got this crazy psychedelic like uh, look to him. They're big. The big guys like uh, Ironclad. He's like Hulk size. He's like chrome out like a Silver Surfer. What era was that? Um, I'm not uh, familiar with that at all. Uh, they were in, been around for a long time, and they they. They they should pop up all the time as main, uh, villains. They're they're Avengers tier level villain team. Okay. And of course, the Hulk could take them out by himself when he when he's pissed off. But I love but, these just because I'm big into the whole like caveman thing. This is um, mm -hmm. from the one million BC Avengers. Um, super cool, and you can kind of see those. Again, all of these will be in the links um, at the end of the show, or the ones that you sort of see. Uh, oh, the, at the URL at the bottom there. Um, this was the Iron Fist in that era. This was the Moon Knight. Just really cool, again, studying the source material, trying to figure out creatively yeah. how do you pull this off is just so much. This is, um, spoiler alert, this is, uh, she was called oh, Fire Hair, and she gets uh, an early mutant who gets uh, taken over by the Phoenix. So yeah. the Phoenix likes those red-haired, uh, red, red, <laughs> red heads, man. Um, but that's Hans, and we should go, but real quick, or we should get to the next thing. But, oh, see, the video's not working again, Dartherian. I'm sorry. I wanted to show you. But, um, yeah, you're you're definitely the, seeing. Try the Hound video down stuff. there, on the, the General Hawk and Hound. General Hawk and Hound. That's right, right above down. Crimson Dynamo. Oh, uh, did I? Way. Oh, right there. By the way. By the way. Well, there you go. There it is. Oh, that's working. working. I think it's because I'm closing windows too as I go through, but there you go for scale. Um, yeah, I guess it's kind of right. The thing is, it's it's still a little bit small, right? Which I'm not complaining, yeah. but it looks. I great. think it looks great though. It's, it yep. works, and yep. I would. It's one thing. My I Saturday would morning buy scale. that. Buy that if that was like a product for people who would make a one twelve scale Transformers. Hell yeah. But, yeah. And. I know it's bla uh, blasphemy for a lot of Transformers fans, which I I love Transformers. I have hundreds of Transformers, Masterpiece, Million Line Line. Ah. I love the characters. They don't need to transform for me. Like I have enough Transformers that transform. I'm with you on that. 
I'm with you on that because I think they look great, and when they can pose up, even better. Mm -hmm. um, I'm 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 a big fan of the Yellow Park stuff. And plus, so. you don't have to worry about any kind of uh, damage or anything when you can't, like when you're meth plates with it. Like these premium painted like masterpiece figures, you gotta be careful with them. And yeah, these are great. Okay, let's move on because we do have truly a ton of stuff to go through that I've prepped, and we might not get through everything, but we'll we'll get to you know we'll get to some. This is one that. Um, isn't quite what you had. This is something that I mm -hmm. um, wanted to share. I don't know if you're familiar maybe with Sergeant Sausage or Steam Power oh, yeah. Mum. Okay. So, yeah. So, we're looking at just, you know, this he tends to work more with the Mythic Legion stuff. And I just mm -hmm. pulled out a couple. You can kind of quickly see what's going on here. But I just pulled out a couple to highlight. I love this one that popped up for Easter. because Oh, that's it's a beautiful paint, face paint such a unique uh head that was that's been out there but him painting it up and putting it on this um what's his just name that the, the, the different the, tones and the flesh tones this just mm -hmm. looks so good is it valak i think yeah the dungeons and dragons valak yeah that the flesh tone looks great that that way he kind of managed that the fur beautiful um and I love again. It's it's the it's the age of like sharing, so people can ask questions like, "Hey, where'd you get mm -hmm. the head from?" And um, it's so cool. We're in the age where people again can be, the beautiful thing about customs, and you've done it is like, "Hey, there's a character that hasn't been touched. I want a figure of it." Yep. So here he is doing but, um, Arthur. I brought so much attention to the Ultraverse here lately, where I yeah. do all customs of the Ultraverse characters, and yep, people's like, "Oh, I remember those." Hundred percent, and here's um from Ghosts and Goblins or, or Ghouls and Ghosts. If you're and uh, which was great, I got to like them. Uh, a couple months ago, I got to do like the uh, Ultracon, uh -huh. and actually got the the founders of Ultraverse were on my channel. Uh, like my Albu Comics uh. were talking about this. We had like a little mini mini uh, uh, panel, like uh, comic panel, virtual panel. Yeah, I mean that's what people don't realize is when the bigger companies aren't going to make them. Um, when you all are doing it and it's getting attention, it's helpful for these companies, right? To, to mm -hmm. kind of, oh yeah, you're building up the, the the attention to the brand again. And their designs are so very toy. Uh, I've said it before, toyetic, but they mm -hmm. just have they look great as figures. Yep. Uh, Brian saying posing wire capes is my kryptonite. I struggle with it for some reason. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's an art form for sure, and it's sculpting. It's essentially sculpting, so you're thinking about it. My my recommendation to people is like look at some comic books and stuff, and really get a mm -hmm. sense of how fabric moves. And just you're basically like doing a series of curves. But um, anyway, I'm working on my friend Cannon to try to figure out. I, I think like one of the it's, things that keeps people from like getting the soft goods wired capes is the intimidation of how to attach them to their figures. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't yeah. want to do the hot glue on the figures, the type thing. Yeah, I've been trying to get him. To, I, I came up with like a sketch, rough sketch, ideal for it. I've been trying to get him to like. I can't model, and like, if you have a peg hole in the back, have it peggy in the back, have it like almost like diamond shape on the back, and have it wrap around the shoulders and sit. Then you can glue the cape to that. Yep. And you can actually remove the cape, move it, and put your original cape yes, back. Yes, you're through. already thinking about the innovation on how to like connect them. It's awesome. And and sorry, now people are like, yeah, the UFOs are awesome. I don't. I was definitely more of an X guy. You know how I actually learned about like the Avengers was from the the old Marvel Universe um, individual series that eventually were released as books. I was just like flipping through those and like reading and looking at the different stuff. Um, yeah, there's so many like folks. Sorry, I'm not mean, meaning to ignore you. There's just like so many cool customs to look at. I remember the Wrecking Crew for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. they they didn't quite uh, they did not quite do them well in the MCU. I'll just say that. No, they they were <laughs> done horribly. <laughs> Check out those those yellow parks, man. I swear by them. Good to see you. Oh, uh, I, I did Jesse. like a, a video on those putting together like the the small Optimus and Megatron and Oh Big. I got the, those first ones. They're like potato chips. I want more of those. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I just wanted to share some Legion stuff. Let's keep going. Let's take a look at oh this guy. Okay. Um, Phoenix Force, yes. Yeah, I just, you know, the, the stuff is great. And again, there's some fun nuggets in here that are like, oh, my gosh, of course we need figures of this. Um, Phoenix another Force one, creation. Another customer does amazing hair work. Yeah so good so you can already kind of see what i'm looking at because he's you could, uh, this is where my brain went i was like cool let's go first off i gotta recognize like i haven't been reading um current 
um, Avengers stuff, but it's kind of cool to sort of see this new costume apparently that's in the, the books where mm-hmm. um, I guess the dark hold, she s- says that she absorbed the dark hold into herself. Cool. Awesome. It, I just think it's an amazing, it's an amazing looking custom and a, a great, great um, design for that uh, costume too. I dig it. I love all the, like the blocking here and the designs and stuff, but look at that hair, just like you said, damn. So is he sculpting, 3D sculpting these and printing? Is that what's happening? I think he's hand sculpting that hair. Damn. Oh, there you go. Yep. Yeah, that's that's hand sculpting. Damn. That is amazing. And then adding... All that's custom detail is all hand sculpted. Is this like epoxy? Apoxy? Yep. Or like some kind of epoxy sculpt? That looks like an epoxy sculpt on there. Yeah, wow. That is fantastic. That on the skirt piece could be... uh, Procreate or Procrete. Softer. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a softer material. Yeah. It allows it to flex. I don't mean to shortchange Phoenix at all, but I, I want to definitely use this opportunity that I have you to talk about customs and show stuff. But man, mm-hmm. Savage Land, Rogue. And such a, another person is amazing photographer too. Yeah, right? It's like you've got the figure and like, oh yeah, he He's has got, no problem he knowing how to either. Yeah. That's what <sighs> That's I... I We'll never get a Savage Land Rogue from Marvel Legends anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, no, we. <laughs> they they, they won't. seem to don't like to have skin on female figures anymore. Yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure, but yes, it, that that seemed to be the pattern. I don't know where that comes from. It's kind of, um, but anyway, whatever. I'll, I'll leave that yeah, yeah. out there. <laughs> Magic, one of oh, my favorite characters, and she has evolved over the years and just become even more cool over over the years in the marvel universe so this is like mm. one of her newer outfits when she's all you know ready to go control limbo and stuff but the way you can see the before and after it's like the before looks like the one you, you got from wish.com <laughs> it looks like the one that i got from maybe toy biz in like 1999 yeah. actually i mean it's not uh, no yeah. offense to toy biz but the, even those were even looked i don't know i was gonna say worse but they did objectively but like that's just where these two comparing them like it's just this is this is 21st century right here and that's some other era but it's great look at that wow it's just amazing crafts people got your 90s jim lee gene gray not my favorite costume but damn he makes it look good is the video working for yeah the video's working yep. Yeah, I don't know how that how that is. It might just be a you know a size. Look at that with the, the hair that gets out of the way. This I love. So he built this. Um, I remember mm-hmm. the, this this issue. Uh, he built a gambit. With, they had this whole. Oh, he's even got like the he painted chest hair on. Yep, yeah, there's chest hair in there, and then so he took this piece off and replaced it with gambit's hair and created this this crop top uh, rock. Which is right out of like the new series. Is yep, <laughs> yep, um, exactly, Darth and It's totally like a glow up. Yeah, we got. Did I say? Did I, I probably said Rogue, didn't I? I feel like I said Rogue, and it's right there in front of me. Gambit. Yeah. Um, anyway, the brain. I, I have a little bit of ADHD, so I don't know if you said it or not. <laughs> Gambit, <laughs> Gambit, rocking the mic like sexy Fabio. Absolutely. Um, and then just to quickly go oh, over, like the Sasquatch. Just again, night yes, and day, amazing. and yep. come on now, that is gorgeous. Storm's outfit when she uh, married T- T'Challa. Oh my God, just it looks so good, and all the little details going on in here, the, the beads, and really just like clearly he's just giving these figures so much love when he's making them. So yeah, absolutely, whoo, Mike. Uh, we see on the Star Wars Black series, you get. A mix Oops, of soft actually. goods and uh, plastic, which I don't see why they can't do that at Marvel Legends. Yep. Who knows? Um, I'm going to do some quick stuff. I'm not necessarily going to show all of Nico's stuff. I've featured him here before. I absolutely love his work, but I um, this the uh, he would call him the sort of Halloween theme stuff. So yep. we're getting a amazing Mephisto uh, mm-hmm. using. I'm assuming this is a Mythic Legions, right? The uh, yeah, it's a Mythic. Mm, maybe not. It no, looks I'm like a f- figure obscura, um, but maybe not. It might be something. Let's see. I could just read. 
Uh, Jada Wolf, Wolfman, no, with the... I'm not sure. We'll go through, because this is a bunch of different figures. At first, yeah. I thought it was the... Um, and I think it is. It's the um, from Figure Obscura, the Mask of the Red Death. But look at that, man. These are all like characters that just were super cool back in the day. Some of them Werewolf I read the comics. Night. A lot of them I just read. Yeah, Werewolf by Night. Some of them I just read that Marvel Universe entry, right? That's one of the things I would love to see uh, Marvel just do a little more of the the darker magic side and stuff. And yeah, we don't really have none. Nope. We got Dolmaru. That's about it. Yep. Speaking of darker magic, Hellboy over in uh, mm -hmm. uh oh my gosh, uh what what comic Mignola it's Hellboy, but what if uh, Dark, Horse, Dark Horse, that's what I was trying to yeah. this is based on a plunderling. Um, I think it's fantastic. It's like yeah. perfect straight out of the comic, man. It's so good with his right hand of doom. Look at that. We got uh grandpa granddad Freeman from uh Boondocks. Yeah. I love it, man. And then uh, <laughs> can't sneeze at Tupac as Bishop. But moving on, um, and I probably should get going soon, but let's just see what else we can get at before we go. Do you know um, El Customizador, uh, Marvel, at uh, all? Yeah, I'll show I'm, you. I might have to see his work for. Oops. Okay, so um here he is and he does a bunch of different stuff like um some of it's articulated some of it's like real vintage some of it's like looking like vinyl stuff but what i wanted to highlight was damn look at this oh uh zombie i Hulk. think i have seen his work before yeah Woo. oh i'm with you man can you imagine if we did a, a midnight sunset damn mm, that we they, the the ghost rider in his uh, cast are just ignored so much by the marvel Legends team Thank Which, you, Dartherian. Yeah. The, the 50th anniversary, what they do for the 50th anniversary, basically nothing. We mm -hmm. got a reissue of the same Ghost Rider figure and Johnny Blaze with a different head. And with Wolverine, we got 15 <laughs> versions of Wolverine for the 50th yeah. anniversary of Wolverine. Yeah, and, you know, I'm sure I, I don't begrudge him at all. I don't know what it's like to kind of, like, you know, have yeah. to predict uh, uh, what will sell and the, what will yeah. hit and all of well, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I can't, uh, the, the I'm sure, a lot of stuff too. It gets pushed on them by Marvel. Yeah. So. Yeah, like, they're with, like, with we're the, we're moving we, here, so we need you to feature this character right yeah. now. Or oh, the like the uh, engine of engines has lab is like the, uh, it's a ten year old character, the 50th anniversary. Yep. Do yep. do the bikes. Yeah. Damn yep. bitch, Johnny Blaze, Vengeance. I know, I know, and I don't know. Again, we don't know where that's coming from exactly. We can guess, yep. we can hypothesize, but. I, I love I this He-Man. I have seen man. this. This is hilarious. I love this He-Man based on the blob, man. It's so cool. <laughs> um, I love it. I love figures with a sense of humor. And I just like, yeah, I love it. It's so cool. Um, anyway, good stuff. Let's see. What else? Man, there's so many here. Yeah. Uh, like, there's just so many. Let me see. Let's check out some some customs by Machu because there's um this is aka west coast customs uh west coast machu because we've got east coast machu toy um but uh, one, of, one of my favorite things he, uh, tutorials uh, uh machu uh, gave out too like how to add articulation to the older female figures by mm -hmm. doing a double ball mm -hmm. peg amazing it's like fantastic. the innovation right yeah we got some street sharks action street sharks streaks or blades from street uh street sharks i love it such a great use of these parts. Um, yep. So cool. And you again, color, man, the power of color to really mm -hmm. like make uh, these toys feel super exciting. It's His customs 90s. are so fun. It's, mm -hmm. it's, he does such wild, obscure stuff a lot of times. Yeah. What's up, Frankie? What's up, Nick? Um, we've got Generation X using that body and maximizing it. I appreciate it. Like, T taking that uh you got jubilee was jubilee in generation x did she join yep. at some point okay that's well after my time with gen x and see i love her coat too the coat looks fantastic um uh was it monet saint croix or something and uh this was husk right um yep a guthrie i love the little piece of skin coming off because that was her power 
just cool stuff, man. And real complete, right? He's like really mm -hmm. captured. I don't even know. Do you know Blood Axe? Yes. Okay. It, it is a cursed figure uh, character where the axe actually can, possesses people. Okay. And Marvel. turns them into that. I think I think it's if I remember correctly, it's the executioner's axe from Asgard, which does oh, that to people. Okay, so it is Marvel, and so but is it? Uh, do, do they end up looking like the Red Skull? Is that what's going on here? Uh, it completely transformed. That was actually a lady that got the axe and it transformed her into that. Oh, okay. And it's just a cursed blade type thing. So and no connection to to to. No, no Red Skull. Red Skull. It's, it's, it's As, Asgardian just based. This. Gotcha. Oh God, this this Hulk, I was not a fan. And then I love this in progress because, you know, I'm old. So um, I'm not that old to remember the original X-Men, but like, you know, there's some of <laughs> the classics, man. The classics never go out of style. So I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what um, Customs by Machu ends up doing with those guys. Oh, man, there's just so many. Let's take a look at this. This was something you shared that I was not familiar with. And um, let's just, yeah, we can end with that. Love it. Um, this storm, mm -hmm. beautiful. Love the like the the design of the hair to really give us that that flow, right? The here's the yep. posing of a cape, or at least the molding of a cape. I'm not sure if it's soft goods or not. It is. It's wired cape. Again, looking at that flow, so good. Oh, is this? Oh, this is X Men Red. I haven't been keeping up anymore, so this is new to me. That costume. There's just so many great customizers out there right now doing so many great things and yeah, being innovative with what they do too. Yeah, Cheshire. Oh, love this. Oh, oh, oh. I would you love to. I wish we could have got uh, DC figures compatible with Marvel Legends instead of just a different scale type thing, and we could have had stuff cross compatibility. And he sure does, Thanos. He's got a great uh, Phoenix, Rachel Summers. Which uh, I thought was a miss, miss opportunity too when they did the retro card at Phoenix uh, mm -hmm. last year to have an alternate head for Rachel because yep. she wore that costume too. Essentially, yep. Because it didn't have the spikes, but yeah, she did wear. The, you're right. She wore that 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 version yep. of the Phoenix costume. Yeah, I love the. Oh look, I didn't even know they did that face as well. Not quite the hound face that's in my brain, but still, it's the phoenix face, which is great. Oh, so good. Yeah, man. And then I love this Manila Luzon <laughs> from um, uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh, yeah, so I, I got love from Manila Luzon, from, repping my peeps from the Philippines. Um, man. I really do got to go and move on to that. We got more AWOC talk going on tonight, but let me end because I want to give DC some love. I am definitely oh, much new more. Collector. Of a, a I love guy. this stuff. And yeah, let me, let me sh highlight some new collector stuff. Um, and then new again, things. I'm sharing more in the links. So if you go to those links, that His will stuff be is so upstairs. clean. And he does like full, like uh, teams and eras, different eras. Yeah. Just amazing work. Look at that, Nightwing. Um, yep. <laughs> it's a good one. I think that's a good one. And then this Red Hood is really cool, too. Um, yep. A little bit, the character's a little bit after my time. I, you know, followed it enough to understand it. But I think it's just, it's a cool, uh, cool looking custom. And uh, I couldn't help it. I guess I ended with Marvel again. X-Factor, man. That was, <laughs> that was my jam. That's classic X-Factor. We just need that beast. He's working on the beast soon, I'm sure. Oh um, well, we got we got almost that angel. We need a little yep. slight, uh, slight yep. little tweak to that now. Yeah, we need uh, that uh, Marvel Girl, that version of Marvel Girl. Yep, and this isn't even quite original, if I remember. This was a little bit later. They're slightly different colors, but but we get the idea. Man, I love it. I love the customizers. You know, let me go ahead and and end with you over here. So. Um, you've got a couple of different things going on on the internets that people should know about. Um, let's mm -hmm. go there. Um, so, uh, we talked about the Instagram. If you want to follow, use his old handle and, and, and the link again, uh, the links are officially updated. So if you're looking at that, uh, URL that's scrolling across the bottom, or if you want to go to the QR code, uh, if that helps you on the replay, it's over here. Um, you can check that out. 
definitely go over to the um to the channel there's actually two so there's collector yep. express and i forgot about the other one what's the other one uh, it's your other name if the old one it's the same as my instagram 1987 World War Two. okay uh it's my old street rod i got in my garage <laughs> gotcha so i'll, uh, I'll put I'll put that in the uh that one's solely focused on customizing so okay. it's not not mixed content i'll put uh, that you, um in the youtube, in the youtube seems to hate mixed content so yeah i know they've gotten so, I, more so lately but it was it wasn't that bad until lately now it's like yeah the algorithm you got is, more than one type of content on your channel we don't know what to do with the algorithm <laughs> <laughs> algorithms got them rules um and oh actually see this is where i gotta do double duty i was like oh i gotta get um i gotta get mr uh bienvenue his destination because uh he doesn't have the link hello dope here you go um so uh yeah so sorry but i put together the uh i want to give people the link directly to the the whip it sunday streams which you're about to to do look yep. it starts in six minutes and 42 seconds you're probably stressing about that too so <laughs> we'll go ahead and end it here but man thank you so much for joining oh, me fun, today man. yeah it's like I wish so we had a little more time and yeah, we could look more at, like I have a full list, so we could definitely find another time to come back, probably do even do a different day than a Sunday because there's just so much to do. But um, hey, man, thank you so much for joining yeah. me here on the channel. I hate to be all like, hey, let's rush, but I know you got a place to go. Yep. And I'll catch you all next time. Oh, I'll see you some guys maybe in a few minutes. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. So, folks, thank you so much. I hope everybody has a great week. Again, remember, we've got AWOC. we got two more days. Tell your friends, like tell your family, tell them everybody, all this cool toy line. Let people know about it because the indies need that support, and we're going to unlock a bunch of stuff. Cool? Great. Collector Express, thank you so much. Go follow him. The links are now up. We'll see everybody later. Thanks, right. man. I appreciate Sweet. you. I got to run. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks, folks. <laughs>